Hey, Jeff here, Deep Cycle Battery. So I'm publishing what I would say a training video on converting a Ford Think 2002, of course, to a, from a lead acid, gel lead acid to a uh, lithium battery. This is a four seater model. So it's gonna vary a little bit in comparison to a two seater. We've already removed the six 12 volt batteries out and we have repurposed some of the cables that used to connect the batteries into in series and uh, this video is more to identify the positive and negative cables that run the car from the controller so we i we've located the the controller which is up underneath the car in the back by that uh, by the driver's side tire you have to get under the car and look at it the controller has a positive and negative pull so we did a continuity test and identified that this cable is coming from the positive cable i mean the positive pull of the controller it goes into this relay and you'll see above if you want to help identify your car you'll see a uh, breaker here to turn the car on and off we have it in the off position which is down uh, and there's your little manual your legend right there we took a cable that used to be used for a battery interconnector because we need to get this uh, relay positive over to a bus bar, which is located over here that we mounted on the side of the, um, of the, the seat support. So to do that, there was two ways we could do it. We could build a custom cable and make the run complete. Um, but because we had a very short negative cable, again, going back to the negative terminal or pole of the controller. We decided to put a single post power uh, pole with an insulated base. I think these are blue C's, you can get these on Amazon. So we screwed it into the seat support, a positive with the color of red and a negative. So again, this cable comes from the controller. It goes to this negative power pole and then we used repurposed one of the cables from the batteries and we brought that into a shunt now this is a aftermarket shunt that we get on amazon and i'll talk to you more about that in a second now this lithium install can apply for big battery battery evo allied and i'll show you what we decided to do with the tray but going back to this is the most important thing is you do not want to cross polarity these cables so again this is the positive cable from the controller this is the little negative cable from the control that I already have mounted on this, uh, this power pole. This is a, this is a repurposed cable. And uh, now these lithium batteries, I should specifically talk about big battery and battery Evo. Their battery fuel gauge or SOC meter, I don't like. So what we did was we purchased a very inexpensive battery shunt that's gonna report to a, and you'll, I'll show you in the video what that looks like it reports to a, a little circular gauge that will mount on the dash. This shunt to operate only needs the, the negative power cable from the vehicle in and then a battery cable out. So we took the power in, cable out of the shunt and the shunt has a uh, indication telling you that B negative is battery negative, P negative is power negative. So negative in, negative out, this will be the negative side of the bus. This is the, power, the positive side of the bus. If, you, if you've done this installation, then you've seen that this is a uh, inline fuse, removable fuse that was between the two, uh, between two of the six 12 volt batteries that were in series. We just repurposed it because we had it. We, lag, we screwed it to this frame here. So again, this is the positive run to the fuse. And then that goes to the bus here and we put a little positive on the jacket. Let's talk about this battery compartment. So for us to try, this customer wants to use the battery Evo. For us to get the battery Evo in here, we had to trim this plastic skirt. And I'll show you how we did that in the video. We had to cut a relief in here to allow that battery, the Evo, cause it's longer than this tray. Luckily for us, this tray is removable. And we found out that this side, the passenger side, the battery does go, uh, what would you call that, horizontal or portrait style? Yeah, portrait style. The battery goes in there, 
so we can have the breaker button of the battery facing this way. So we can access through the seat, up here through the seat, and turn the battery on and off. We got to the driver's side and we had a problem. The battery, even though we, we did relieve the, the uh, plastic here, the battery is resting up against this steel plate right here. You can see where it's touching it, preventing the battery from seating down into this tray. So what we decided to do was take this tray out and build a new, take this out, out and we're going to put a new piece of plastic that we cut in here because this because the water and the dirt is going to get through here if we left it just with these uh, supports here's a piece of i don't know lex lexan plastic acrylic i don't know what it was i guess we had around luckily for us at the shop so now we have a new piece in here as a, as a base plate and the reason why we need to do this is because Passenger side battery is going to go portrait style. Driver side is going to go long style this way to fit in here. And we'll just lag this. Uh, I guess part three. Okay, so you can see that we got the recapping. The red plastic tray has been put in. The portrait style, horizontal style, batteries are secured. Battery Evo supplied with these feet that we mounted to the uh, edge of the battery and then uh, drilled into the bait plastic plastic uh, tray holder. Got the onboard charger mounted on the driver's side. Uh, it has an Anderson connector that we put to the bus. The charger is feeding directly to the positive and negative of the bus. There's the shunt like we have discussed many times. Cables are laying across the top of the battery, gathered together to zip ties. Actually worked out really clean and uh, the state of charge meter that the shunt is reporting to, the telemetry cable that goes to the, the circular display goes up underneath the Ford Think. And then we found by taking this uh, cup holder out, comes out, we found a passage to mount the state of charge meter right here on the, uh, with the glow shift uh, gauge holder mounted up right below the, uh, uh, what do you call that? I always forget. Anyway, so we have it mounted down there. And uh, anyway, to get this uh, telemetry cable fed through here, we took this tire off, took this skirt off, and there was a passageway to go up in, in there. Just do, just keep looking. When you take this d uh, cover off, you'll see uh, a passage that you can uh, use. So anyway, cluster, that's called the cluster. Anyway, <laughs> this is gonna bug me the rest of the day. Yeah, it works, it works pretty good. We've already ran the car. It does um, a lot quicker and less weight. Uh, geez, hundreds of pounds of reduction. And um, now, and by the way, when you did this, when we did this install, we disassembled the uh, bolts that were holding the seat harness to the aluminum support. And then we'll put all that back together. And I uh, hope this helps you. This is kind of a training video internal for us and uh, we just thought we would publish it in case you guys have any questions um there is room for other brand of batteries um allied would fit in there they have a 72 volt i think bolt has a battery pack that would fit in there as well so if you have any comments i'll do my best to answer questions but if you don't want to if you want to help support us just give us a thumbs up that'd be fantastic tell us what you think about this and we'll talk to you soon Thanks for watching.